Okay, in this one we're going to learn about layers. Um, now, I've been promising to, teach, um, to tell you about layers for a while, and it's about time we did, because they're such a fundamental part of how you work in Illustrator, such as they um, are in CAD programs such as Rhino, um, ArchiCAD, uh, um, AutoCAD specifically, which you may or may not be familiar with. Um, and it's important to know that if you do import a DWG from a program such as AutoCAD, CAD program, um, or DXF, it will also import the artwork onto different layers, which is extremely useful. So if you already have your drawing um, split up into, say, different line weights, you will be able to keep that management um, of layers um, continuing, turn them on, turn them off. And I'll show you now why that's extremely important. So I'm going to open up my uh, layers um, palette on the side. Just clicking that layers, that's the essentials toolbar, remember? Palette layout. And you can see, let's click that up, I've got six layers. There's the imported PDF, and next to the um, title imported PDF, you can see there's an arrow, a color, a lock, and if you click there, a visibility sign. So I'll just turn off the other ones. So if there's an eye, it means that's the layer you can see. And if it's highlighted in blue, it means that's the layer you are on. And if it's highlighted in blue, for example, over here, um, and I draw using the pen tool up here, it will draw onto that layer. But you'll see at the moment the um, cursor is highlighted, is um, a pencil with a line through it indicating that I cannot draw because, if you'll have a look here, the layer has been locked. If I unlock that layer, I can now draw. You'll see my cursor has changed. Um, oh yes, the pen tool, okay, but we all know about that. Now, if I click down on the arrow to expand on the imported PDF layer, you'll see that it's made up of, um, you'll see it contains many paths. Each of these is an object that represents, that is um, manageable by this point here. And if I click on um, the, we'll find one that we can see, if we click on the, um, uh, on the object itself, you'll see its selection icon which is the circle with the outer circle around it is selected and is represented in green and you can see on the board where that green um, that path is highlighted in green. I'll close that. Um, now a few more things about layers um, just before we go into greater depth here. You can click and hold on a layer and you can drag it. Um, now if you see the line appearing in between two layers it means it's just moving up in the in the rank, and it's important to note that the higher a layer is, the further, um, the closer it is to your appearance. Um, well, the screen. Okay. Um, imagine it as a pile of objects. If imported PDF is sitting on top of diagram, then if you'll remember the arrange tool, it will be visible in front of the layer diagram. And it doesn't matter if you use the arrange tool on it because um, the arrange tool will only rearrange. Um, um, objects front front and back within its layer. Okay. Now if I drag it and hold it above a uh, layer, you'll see there's two arrows pointing into the middle. And what happens then is it becomes a sub-layer, which is a layer within a layer. Think of a box within a box. So you'll see if um, that in its um, the imported PDF with all its paths, if I minimize it, is contained within the layer diagram, which is not visible, so we cannot see the imported PDF, and that's indicated with the gray eyes but if I drag it out, which I cannot do unless it's visible, apparently. And I'll minimize that, turn that off. And you'll see we can manage all these objects infinitely. This becomes extremely useful when we have, for example, text that we might want to turn on, turn off, um, and not have to look at at certain points. Um, you'll see here, if I turn off the imported PDF and show the line work that was drawn over the top with some artwork copied off the um, original imported PDF and I can turn on the roof too, you'll see there's a um, a structural layer which has been drawn on the sec second layer for the ease of um, editability. So if I wanted to go and select all of that artwork there I could easily but maintain the new line work visible I put a lock on that layer and then if I select like that it will only select, you can see in grey it represents each different um, layer with a different color. 
you'll um, you'll see it's only selecting the artwork on the roof two layer. Now if I right click, sorry, not right click. There it is. Um, I'll drag this out so you can see the drop down menu. You'll see there's a bunch of different options. So new layer for creating a brand new layer, new sub layer within a selected layer. You can duplicate, so copy a layer, delete. You can edit the options, for example the color that we want to see, or all these other options I won't spend too much time talking about now. Um, a few other things, you may be familiar with Photoshop, you commonly use flatten artwork, so it would take all the layers and shove them into one layer. Another version of that is collecting a new layer, release layer sequence, release the layers build, and a couple of others. There's a few other shortcuts down here. That's make release, clip, uh, make release clipping mask, which you'll learn about in a subsequent video. Create new sub layer, create new layer, and the trash icon. So that's about everything. Um, it's a tr if you if you're brand new to layers, it's best to just play with them and uh, see how they help you with your particular workflow. And remember, there's no correct workflow. Everyone likes to work differently. I find layers, especially with clipping masks, make it. Uh, illustrate an, an extremely powerful program so do play with them and um, don't hesitate to ask questions.